Yes, it's been a difficult few months, hasn't it? What with all the speculation about what's going to happen to the company and to jobs and so on. Well, that's all over. Now, the East Coast has taken over. But this is about more than a name change and a few new signs on the trains. For a start, East Coast means business as usual for everyone. But more than that, it signals an exciting future with lots of great new things to come. And the future does indeed look good. An extra £12 million will be invested in East Coast over the next couple of years, which means there's a clear commitment to improving services, attracting more passengers and making this an even better place to work. East Coast certainly isn't standing still and there's an exciting future ahead. But of course, everyone has to pull together to make this happen. So when it comes to all these high aspirations, what is your role? I'm working really hard um, as the new managing director for East Coast to make a real success of this franchise. In two years' time, I'm absolutely determined to hand this franchise on in better shape than it is today. May the 22nd isn't your mum's birthday, but put it in the book anyway, because that's when it all starts for real. It's the biggest thing happening on the line for more than 20 years. The idea is to deliver an extra three million customers a year. And the odd woof woof too. Ah, finally. Now we talk about the dining. This is more like it, I'm more comfortable with this. Yes, you've been caught red-handed. Cream teas and cake, all very traditional and all in first class. And that's not all. OK, so the all-day breakfast may not be strictly groundbreaking. Whoa, that looked like a nice bit of sausage. But the way it's cooked, and the way it's delivered, it really is. I'd give it a ten. The plan is to get more people to upgrade to first class by offering something special and make the train a better bet than taking on something like Luton Airport and all the hassles of one of those so-called cheapo flights. It's good. It's putting the word first back in first class. It's good for the passenger. It's easy for the staff to use. It's really good. New timetable, complimentary food in first class, but that's not all. From the moment customers book their ticket and board the train to the time they arrive at their destination, we want them to feel good about us. We've got a good story to tell, and everyone's involved in telling it and making it happen. Welcome to the new timetable. Welcome to a new onboard experience. Welcome to East Coast. I'm glad they're not in the quiet carriage. Train at platform number 4 to 1342. Cross-country train service to Penzance calling at Durham, Darlington, York. 
Leeds, Wakefield, Westgate. Westgate, Sheffield, Chesterfield, Derby, Tamworth, Birmingham New Street, Cheltenham Spa, Bristol Parkway, Bristol Temple Meads, Taunton, Tiverton Parkway, Exit of St David's, Newton Abbott. Ness, Plymouth, Lescard, Bobman Parkway, Lost Whistle, Parr, St. Austell, Truro, Redruth, Camborne, Hale, St. Earth and Penzance. Platform 4 of 13, 42, cross-country train service to Penzance. <sighs> See how long that is? <laughs> it's ridiculous.